So I've recently been creating some experiments in Google Tilt Brush. This experiment involved importing a Matterport digital twin model in the form of an OBJ file into Google Tilt Brush and then adding various effects. So some of the lighting you see on the, the mixer board there, some of the lights that you see in this room here where I brought what's effectively my entire guitar collection and brought it into the studio. Uh, they're created in Google Tilt Brush. So taking the Matterport model and then adding these extra effects to the uh, model itself and and even this fire effect on the white uh, Fender Stratocaster, which is a kind of dedication to Jimi Hendrix as he used to set fire to his guitars on stage occasionally. It really does sort of add an extra layer of, well, interest, realism in some cases. And in this case, I, I used a bit of artistic license, as, as you can obviously see. So as we pan around the back of the drum kit here, you can see that adding those lighting effects to the existing light model within the scene really just just bring it to life a little bit and even the kind of blurring around the edge of the, the the google tilt brush output when you when you record the video just allows you to focus on the center point but also covers up for some of the inaccuracies of the model etc uh, and some of the low resolution that you find in many vr applications simply because it's early days in in, in this technology here we have an example one of the first examples i was trying out when i was just trying to create the most realistic fire I could. And what I did was combine the Comet tool with the Fire tool. In addition, the Comet and Fire tool are used here to create as realistic water flow impression as I could. And obviously all these rocks in the background are created with the Matte Hull tool. And then the vegetation is with the, there's, there's kind of a bristle tool. And then there is, there's a tool which creates the kind of leaves and plants, that kind of thing. So again, here we're focusing back in on the water effect, which using the comet and using elements of the, well, using the fire tool to create those, the kind of glistening effect of the water it really does work effectively. And then you've got a light in the background for the sun and you've got some smoke which represents or creates the clouds. So it's, it was an interesting experiment in creating fire and water, and it was a kind of fun scene. Now bear in mind, a lot of these scenes really do look amazing when you actually go into VR using the headset. Here we have another experiment, which was um, Airbus Visitors Centre at Broughton in North Wales, which is in the UK. And what I did was import, again, another Matterport digital twin. So I scanned using the Pro 2 camera. And what we can see here are the, the various models and the kind of backgrounds, the designs and the kind of timeline of Airbus um, as part of the visitor center experience. So if we're just rotating again with sort of smooth camera movements around the scene, most of the scene export from Google Tilt Brush is the Matterport model. But what I did was add some lighting effects into the ceiling and just a tiny bit of smoke just to give a little bit of haze from that light as well, just to create, again, a little bit more realism. And it really just worked to quite a nice effect. So as we go back down into the model, you can see the model aircraft. And then as we go round towards to see the, the wing, what I was trying to do at this point was create a kind of really drifting, almost like a flying effect now as we rotate into this turn and go through. So as you can see, it kind of tilts and banks to one side, then the other. So really giving an impression of flying through. So as we go into the VR room in the visitor center, again, making camera movements that go low down, then high up to the ceiling, would be actually be quite difficult to do uh, manually or with an actual camera. So the, the advantage again of using tilt brush in this way is that you can create some very smooth camera movements and you can plan all of these using the camera movement tool within Google Tilt Brush. So again, this is kind of a fun model um, to, to actually look at. And again, that smooth camera movement to the next scene. What I will add here is that you're seeing a reasonably low poly version of the visitor center from the OBJ file. This is because the Matterport system isn't designed to create these models. It's designed to assist in the way that the photography, the very, very high quality photography, looks realistic as you move through the scene. So all of this 3D data is really just to support the high resolution, high 
uh, definition HDR photography that the Matterport system creates. But when you import into Google Tilt Brush, it's a lot of fun. It's realistic enough. There's enough resolution to make it worthwhile uh, as an experience. And and even if someone was to use this uh, on a professional or semi-professional basis, it it does create a real a really good impression of the environment that was captured. So as you can see with the the, the seats, uh, you can see the, the the sort of poly count that we're, we're we're talking about there. But again, if you ignore that, you get a real impression of what the Airbus Visitor Centre is like. So now this final example was really again another experiment in lighting and using interesting colours for the background and again using the matte hull to create the rock effects. You've got sort of fire flying through the sky that looks like beams of energy and light um, and really just wanted to sort of see how far I could push the sort of light and magic effects that can be created. So again you've got these strange plants uh, you've got uh, you've got the kind of bristle brush on the ground to create a brush kind of organic effect. The way the camera moves and the, the colours and the fire and the energy was really what this experiment was all about. <laughs> 